A sudden mystery unfolding at a mansion in Atherton. Sky 7 overhead as investigators and police dogs search a car fully buried in the backyard of this multi-million dollar home. The questions are swirling tonight. Good evening, I'm Amadeus. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thank you for joining us. Investigators are now working to under uncover any other clues to help put together what else might be hiding under that dirt. Yeah, the car was first found this morning behind the gated off home on Stockbridge Avenue in the wealthy Peninsula neighborhood. Tonight, ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns has the latest from Atherton. Dan Ama crews have been here at the house in the back excavating the scene for hours and it doesn't seem like they'll be done anytime soon. The Atherton Police Department stressing this is still an ongoing and active investigation. Initial calls came in around 850 Thursday morning from the 300 block of Stockbridge Avenue in Atherton. The Atherton Police Department says landscapers called them after discovering a buried car in the backyard of a local home. The vehicle was possibly buried sometime in the 1990s and was buried approximately four to five feet into the ground. Crime scene techs and cadaver dogs were immediately called out to the scene. Police say the dogs made a slight notification of possible human remains, but none have been found. Sky 7 video shows crews working throughout the day excavating the site and collecting evidence. There were unused bags of concrete throughout the vehicle, but they were still in bags. Atherton is one of the wealthiest communities in the Bay Area, home to many palatial homes and quiet streets. Nearby neighbors say they're shocked by what's happened. But usually it's like it's pretty safe and it's like you no know, everyone is kind of doing their own thing. Nothing out of the norm. No, everything, everything is fine. And police say that the vehicle was buried before the current homeowners took possession of the house Atherton PD saying they are cooperating with authorities. I'm in Atherton, Tim Johnson.